A former Kirksville dentist has been sentenced to prison for offering bribes to protect a friend accused of molesting a teenage boy. 72-year-old Stephen Barber was charged with offering a family $150,000 in 2008 to withhold cooperation in the molestation case against his friend, former attorney Thomas Oswald. Oswald is serving a seven-year sentence for sexual contact with a 15-year-old boy. Barber lost his dental license and will serve two concurrent five-year sentences. Changes to the concealed carry law went into effect today. Good evening. I'm Angie Bailey and I'm Lindsay Cooper. There are several new changes to the law and one gun shop owner says he thinks they're a good thing. New York Fire Department water rescue crews found themselves working in an unusual environment today. The residential streets of Staten Island. Hurricane Irene flooded the streets of New York City. This morning rescue teams saved 61 adults and three babies from 21 homes. Of that number, 26 of those victims were pulled from three flooded homes on Staten Island. One battalion chief said at some point, at some point, the water was five feet deep. Hurricane Irene may have caused a postponement of the official dedication of MLK Memorial in Washington, D.C., but that didn't keep people from visiting the site today. Hundreds of tourists flocked to the memorial along the Tidal Basin to read Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s words carved into the walls of the memorial. Others posed for photos taken in front of the impressive 30-foot-tall sculpture of the civil rights leader. The Islamic Center of Central Missouri has open houses periodically, and if you would like to learn more about Muslims' beliefs, go to our website, KOMU.com. When it comes to September 11th, schools are teaching kids about the day, but should the event be taught even more? KOMU 8's Jonathan Ketz found one student who thinks it should. Working parents in a tornado-ravaged Joplin are finding it tougher to find child care after more than half of the licensed daycare spaces in the community vanished after the May 22nd storm. The Joplin Globe reports Child Care Aware of Missouri says the number of licensed daycare spaces in Joplin fell from almost 2,000 before the storm to just less than 800 afterward. A Missouri town that was nearly destroyed 150 years ago by Kansas militia is calling upon the University of Kansas to get rid of its Jayhawks mascot. A resolution passed this week by the Osceola Board of Aldermen also asks the University of Missouri to educate Kansas on the historical origins of the border war. A University of Kansas spokeswoman says a Jayhawk is not a terrorist, but rather a bluebird with a red head and yellow beak. A month-long trend continues to keep money in your wallet. And a new survey shows just how much you've been saving. Gasoline prices across the United States continue to drop. The Lundberg Fuel Price Survey shows the average price of a gallon of regular gas went down 13 cents over the past two weeks. The price has dropped 25 cents over the past month. The national average for a gallon of regular is $3.42. Albuquerque, New Mexico has the lowest price at $3.07. San Francisco once again has the highest average price in the nation, with gas going for $3.81 a gallon. A man who collapsed near the end of his run at the Chicago Marathon has died. A spokeswoman says the runner collapsed to the ground about 500 yards from the finish line. The man was a 35-year-old firefighter from Greensboro, North Carolina. He was pronounced dead at the hospital an hour and 45 minutes later. The man's name has not been released. An autopsy, autopsy is planned for Monday. Now imagine Columbia, Missouri, a palm tree paradise. Sounds unlikely? Well, maybe not. KOMU 8's Laura Davison introduces us to one grower trying to outsmart Mother Nature and grow the tropical plants here. Well, follow along if you know it. It's beginning to look a lot like Halloween. Confused? Well, so is much of the Northeast. They're seeing unseasonably early snowfalls today. Philadelphia got at least three inches of snow. More than a million homes lost power in the snowstorm. And sure, New England is no stranger to snow, but not before the leaves have finished falling. As the weather gets colder, you might be noticing your windows are a little drafty, or maybe the heater just isn't getting the job done. Pretty common problems this time of year. Kami Waits Tong Gao takes us inside a City of Columbia home maintenance workshop designed to save homeowners money. Carl Edwards led for more than 60 laps at today's nationwide series event. See if he held on for the win coming up in sports. You've probably heard of the children's game Red Rover, but you may not have heard of reading to Rover. Kids from all over Columbia gathered at the Columbia Public Library this afternoon to read to therapy dogs. The kids say it can be hard to get the dogs to pay attention to the story, but that it's nice to read to someone who can't correct you when you make a mistake. 
Missouri officials have agreed to a trade deal with China that would boost Missouri exports by $200 million. The deal calls for the Department of Economic Development to work with officials in northwest China to increase exports over the next two years. This deal is just a drop in the bucket compared to the agreement Governor Nixon announced last month. That deal has Missouri selling $4.4 billion worth of exports to China for the next three years. KMU News at 9. If you just can't get enough of the news, yes, check out our Twitter and you know you can leave a comment there or go to KMU.com. You can view and leave comments there.